Well, the Prime Minister today singled out Romania as one country to which he wanted to send a clear message about immigration. It came, came after UKIP highlighted figures showing 28,000 arrests of Romanians by the Metropolitan Police in the past five years. A little earlier, I spoke to the country's ambassador to Britain, Dr. Ian Jinga. I asked for his reaction both to today's announcement and to those figures specifically. I just came out from a meeting with uh, police officers from the uh, British uh, Metropolitan Police, uh, London Metropolitan Police, and uh, they uh, clearly confirmed that the crime rate among the Romanian community uh, is not specifically high. I have seen, of course, um, well, well let, let's just pick out what... about let, 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 let me finish because it, it is about crime i have seen in in, in the media uh, quoting that uh, for the last five years there were twenty seven thousand uh, romanians arrested in uh, in britain which is really a fake story because it is a statistic for five years and if you take into account that for instance only last year in britain there were 5.6 million crimes committed. And if you multiply by five, you reach to the conclusion that half of the British population have committed a crime during the last five years. Of course, it is a nonsense. It's not true. But it couldn't be true also for, for Romanians. In yeah, many but, cases, but, but don't forget, the same that, person has been arrested. But those are yeah. crimes committed already before the license for um, any Romanian to come here has come into full force. The, the worry is what happens when it comes into full force. You have mentioned the idea that probably next year uh, we'll have an influx of, uh, of Romanian crime here. It's absolutely not true. And you know why? Because we have the free movement of persons since 2007. So there are still some restrictions on the British labor market, but not restrictions to the free movement of persons. That's why those people, those Romanians, who eventually will decide to come next year to Britain will be only those who want to find a job and also uh, some of the people who are now working here on the black market, they will surface because they will get free access uh, and legal access to, to the British labour market. I suspect that the gravest concern is about the Roma community. I mean, uh, clearly a lot of things have been said about the Roma community that are not true. But nevertheless, there are uh, considerable numbers here and there are petty crimes, as you describe, that are committed by them, because, partly because of their way of life. In Romania, we have about 600,000 Romas, whereas the total number of Roma people all over the, the Europe is between 12 and 15 million people. Only in Britain, local Roma people in, in Britain are, according to British statistics, more than 200,000 people. So this is a European problem. We have to tackle it together. We have to help them to integrate. Uh, they need support, not prejudice. Ambassador, then, do you see David Cameron as perhaps prejudiced, as perhaps picking on Romania and uh, using it for political reasons? I was surprised to see that the Romanians are used are, are an example. And honestly, I believe uh, we are used as a scapegoat uh, for everything that goes wrong in Britain today. Ambassador, I detect you're quite angry about this. I couldn't be happy uh, when Romanians are, are used are scape as scapegoats. Uh, because uh, some part of the British media and some politicians uh, are in a permanent electoral uh, campaign and uh, uh, someone has to be a victim. We are not prepared to be a victim. We are people who work here, we are people who contribute, and Romania and Britain have really excellent bilateral relations. And it will be a pity to, to create a prejudice 